Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch the game on your Windows computer, if you're receiving the pop-up which says report problem, something went wrong with this game. So if you're receiving this pop-up, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam and exit and then you can re relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer once. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and then check. If that does not work, update the system BIOS. So whichever brand you have so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website so for example i'm showing for dell so you can make sure that you select your model number once you select your model number you can go to drivers and download so this is just an example you go to your system manufacturer website and then find the latest bios and once you find the latest BIOS, you can download it. You can run this. You can run this file, and then you can install this BIOS. But in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10%, and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to go to this location and then change the SB game user settings to low upscaler type for upscaler type you can set it to low now for this uh, you can open file explorer go to this PC open C drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder now open this sb folder and open save folder open config folder windows no editor folder now over here you will see game user settings file make a double click you can open it with notepad and over here you can just search for this upscaler type sb game user settings if this is set to medium or high you can just over here type in low low and then you can click on file and then click on save and then launch the game you can even make a right click on after making changes make a right click on game user settings and then you can put a check on read only hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now it's still not working the next step is to run these files so go to the game installation folder so make a right click on the game ex in game on steam and then select manage click on browse local files and open this sb folder binaries win64 over here you can see this install PSPC SDK runtime make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and let it complete now once you once it is completed you can just press any key over here to continue and then over here you can see PSPC SDK runtime installer make a make a double click and install it let it complete now once done run this file make a double click and even if you don't see anything coming up just run it and then you can check now still not working you can go to this location and then you have to run this file so again engine so this is the location open the engine folder open the extras folder open the redist folder open e and us folder so this is the location go to this location and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now if you see the install option hit install if it is already installed then click on uninstall close it again make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then put a check over here and then click on install now once this is complete now you can launch the game and then check close it now launch the game still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive 
So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then open this SB folder binaries win64. Over here you can see this game exe file. Make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click and then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Again, go to properties and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK. You can even put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply, click on OK and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK and follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now this is very important. So go to your system manufacturer website. So and no, no, I'm sorry. Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now for this you go to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. This is important. This has worked for many players. Now, if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. And then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the exe file over here and then click on open again click on add and allowed app click on browser apps open sb folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then you can check also open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then again Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the exe file and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then open SV folder with binaries 
Win64 folder. And then you have to select this exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to delete the config folder. To delete the, delete the config fol folder, you can go to this PC, open C drive, users, username, app data, local, SB folder, saved, config. Now, when you delete this, let, let, let me inform you that all the saved settings will be lost. You have to start uh, that settings will be lost, not the saved game files, but the settings. So you can just make a right click and then click on delete. If you want to create a backup, you can copy it and then you can delete it and then check if that does not work. Uh, rename the save game files, but you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, uh, you can do that, but create a backup first. So before you, you can go back over here and you have to copy this SB folder, copy it and maybe paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this folder. Make a right click and then you can click on rename dot old. Rename it and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder sb binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here so find the game in the list once the game is added over here now you can click on the game and then select high performance over here and then again click on add desktop app and select the first exe file and then click on add again once the game is added over here now you can click on the game and then select high performance and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to roll back graphics driver now this has worked for many players with my of you so i'm showing for nvidia again go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list and then select the right operating system click on find it will take you to the next page on this page you will see view more version so you have to click on view more version over here and for many users this this geforce game ever has worked 576 dot 28 so you can view it download it but when you go for installation select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then you have to restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to now try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, the go to hardware and sound and then go to power options. Now over here in my case, I have only balance. In your case, you might see the power saver mode. So you might see power saver mode like this. So put a check on power saver and then check. You can even go for balanced and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Also, uh, if you're using Intel, if you're using this Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, you can uh, you can uh, use this. If you don't have it, you can install it, and you can lower down performance score ratio to maybe 55x or 54x. So if this is set to 57x or 56x, try 55x or 54x, and then you can apply the settings, and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to if you're using Nvidia app. In that case, you can try to launch the game from NVIDIA app. So open NVIDIA app. 
on your computer and go to the home and then over here you will see the game somewhere Taylor Tail. Uh, I don't see the game yet yeah. uh, so you can maybe scan it um, see all here you can see the game so in my case it's there but in home screen I don't see it but if you see the game over here uh, you can just click on play I'm showing with different game this is just an example you can if you see still a blade over here try to launch the game from um, Nvidia app now next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game uh, sorry make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash DX11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash DX12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game and then select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website install these studio files so you can download this x86 and x64 so download x86 you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed and then you can you have to restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to do not overclock so if you have overclocked your computer set it to default and then check also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner you know, or any kind of other over overclocking application running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and then you can turn off this nvidia overlay or you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have OTAs, wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor if you have any kind of third party services or application running close it if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel